Hey guys, happy Monday. Is anybody here today? Welcome to my Periscope. And yes, like I said, it is Monday. It is actually a beautiful day here in South Carolina. Hey Daryl, thanks for joining. Happy Monday. I just got back from Nashville. I'm so excited to be home. It is so warm out here. So I wanted to come outside so you guys could see how beautiful it is. Just taking a nice breather. Hey Meg, thanks for joining me. I want to talk to you about three things today that I feel really, really could make you successful because they've worked a lot for me. But I guess one of the things I want to ask you first is what is your definition of success? Like if you believe that making tons of money, um, moving completely up your rank of your job, uh, being a great parent, what is it that you define as success? Because it just really, it's kind of all in the eye of the beholder what success is. But some of the things that I've come to that have stayed true in life that I just have to share with you guys are the three things that I think are most prominent about being success and being successful. And the way that I define success is I like to help people. I love to help people. I love to get paid by helping people and that's an awesome side, but I really feel like helping people is my calling and a lot of people do as well. So number one, the first thing that I feel is so important is success of life and it could be business, it could be emotion, financial, whatever, it could just be as a person is, it's not all about how great you are in life, okay? It's not all about how much you've accomplished, how much money you've made. If you're lucky enough to be lucrative and have an awesome life and to be able to donate and stuff like that, that's awesome. But I don't believe that defines sex. So success, I think that some people think it does, but I don't think it does. But if you are that fortunate to be that lucrative, will you donate to somebody who is not so lucrative? That's number one. I believe that success is based on the fact that if you are blessed enough to be lucrative enough lucrative enough to donate to somebody that you actually will so if you are will you number two your legacy will be nothing about how much money you left behind but about how many people you helped along the way do you agree with that Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, well that is absolutely true. And I've interviewed some amazing people and I've heard a lot of talks with some amazing personal development people. And they basically all said that. Your legacy will be nothing about the money you left behind. Your family might be happy, your kids might be happy, but basically it's about how many people you've actually helped along the way. And I know most of us, most of my friends are the same way that we like to make money by doing things that we love, but we also really know that the main part is that we like to help people along the way. And number three, I know you're getting ready to say, well, maybe I don't make as much money as I would like to. Um, I would love to donate to my favorite charity. I would love to be able to give more, but I just don't physically and financially have the resources to give. So I'm gonna tell you that's a cop out. It's an absolute excuse. Um, you may be limited, but no time or money should be a cop-out because you can be able to find something to fit into your schedule to help people. And when you do, you will learn so much. I promise you, you will learn so much from that experience that all of these experiences will create your life for you, the life of success. So those are the three things that I feel can help you be very successful in life. Number one, it's not all about how great you are. It's not all about how much money you make, how great you are, how successful you are financially. But if you are, are you willing to donate some of that money to people who need it, who people who are less fortunate than you? Number two, your legacy, legacy will be nothing about money that you left behind, even though your kids will love it, but it'll be about how many people that you have actually been able to help. Can I get a high five or some hearts on that one? And number three, no excuses. You may be time or money limited, but you can fit something in. There is something that you can do to fit into your schedule to make somebody's life different and create an awesome life for you. So please volunteer your time. 
thank you again for watching my scope. Uh, my name's Heather. If you don't already know me, I am a long-term health and wellness fitness coach and registered nurse. If you would like to get more information or you would like more information from me, you can get me at www.teamtink.com, T-E-A-M-T-I-N-K.com. Just recovering from shoulder surgery, as you can see. I got a nice little scar here, but I'm doing great. One arm's a little bigger than the other, but I am rocking on. It's not going to put me behind. So guys, if you want to be successful and you're willing to help others, what will you do? Will you regularly schedule your giving? Will you pay it forward? I'm asking you. I know that I do, and I'm happy when I do. So thank you for joining me here on my beautiful day at the lake. Post-workout, nice shower, smell good. Happy Monday. I love you guys.